All right, hello everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome. What is going on, folks? DSP here live on the stream. What is the deal? <laughs> Happy Monday. It is a Monday, July 3rd, 2017. <clears throat> For some, today is a holiday because some people got a nice big kind of four-day weekend. Others, uh, not so lucky. <clears throat> For me, doesn't really matter. I mean... I enjoy playing video games and sharing those experiences with you daily, even though it is my job. It is also kind of my hobby and the fun that I have. So for me, I don't mind that I'm here on holidays and such uh, celebrating with you guys. This is the first of two gameplay streams today, folks. All right. First of all, if you did not watch the weekend preview last night, I strongly recommend you do. Many people skip it now. They think they take it for granted. They say, oh, there's no information in that weekend preview that I'm not going to get on a pre-stream or watch it reading Phil's Twitter or whatever. Uh, not true as of last night. Last night, I outlined my plans for July, including my time off that's coming up and explained fully how that's going to happen. And uh, so you definitely need to watch the weekend preview if you want to know about that. Okay, it is coming soon. In fact, as of today, it's a little over a week away. So there will be a several, you know, a string of several days that I will not be uh, streaming. For the full details, watch the weekend preview. I will talk a little bit more about that as I get closer to it. All right. But today, what can you expect? Well, number one, a nice three and a half to four hour gameplay stream here of Crash Bandicoot 3. Um, the bottom line is I could beat the game right now within just a couple hours here if I just played through the final stages that are remaining. But, as you know, I've been trying to get all of the gems in the game by collecting and breaking all the boxes um, to challenge myself further and get more, you know, quality out of the game. So, that being said, it's basically extended the length of the playthrough. Now, from what I'm going to understand, um, there is a hidden warp room area that you can get to by doing uh, the time trials in the game. Which, up to this point, I've kind of been avoiding. Um, I guess you get what's called speed shoes after you beat the final boss of the game. I don't know if that's true or not. Supposedly, you get an item that makes you faster regardless. So you can actually speed through the stages and easily do the time trials. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll see what happens today. Um, a lot of people are saying, it's still going for 100%. It's still going for 105%. What is Phil doing? Um, I don't know yet. I really doubt I'm going for 105% because I've heard you need to get like the platinum time trial in every single stage, which just seems to me just excessive. Do I really care enough that I want to go crazy and try to get the absolute best times in every stage and extend the playthrough by like seven hours? Not really. Okay, not really. So, yeah, I, I really don't think that that's what I want to waste my time with. But, would I want to see every single stage in the game? Yes, I would. I would like to see every single level in the game. And if it means that I have to complete each time trial, at least at the lowest level once to do that, um, then yes, I probably will do that, alright? But I really doubt I'm going for 105% insane completionist platinum trophy run. That just seems crazy excessive, it does. Okay, so that's the deal. That's what I think I'm going for. So we'll see how far I get today. More than likely, I, I probably will beat the game today, but I'll probably hold off for another session to try to get 100% uh, later in the week. We'll see. All right. All right. Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing more Danganronpa 2. That is correct. Another two-hour session of Danganronpa 2. I'm excited for it. Um, if you're not aware, I played it Friday night, and we ended on a huge cliffhanger. We're in the middle of a trial, and there was just a huge plot twist out of nowhere, and everyone's like, whoa, what's going on? And then I ran out of time to play. So we're going to resume with that tonight. Hopefully, we're going to finish the first trial tonight, which would be awesome. And... uh. Yeah, 
I hope that, uh, you know, it works out and we get through it tonight and it's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to more Danganronpa 2 tonight. Um, my voice is hit or miss. As you can hear, it sounds great right now, actually. Better than it has in the past few days. However, my nose is congested today. So, I actually, I took a decongestant before I started streaming and I'm hoping it kicks in soon. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how my voice holds out. And, uh, you know, hopefully this week it, it ends up being pretty good. The problem is later this week... Supposedly we're supposed to have a string of sunny days here in Washington, which means all the plants are going to fucking be in bloom again. This is what happens. Like, today it's cloudy, so I'm like, oh, good. My allergies aren't really bothering me that much. I'm a little congested, but my throat isn't too bad. And I start to feel better, and then the fucking, we get a few hot days where the sun comes out, and then boom! And you could, it's, so, it's so powerful here. The pollen's been so bad this year. You could smell it. I'm not even exaggerating. You, on days when the sun is out, you can smell the pollen in the air. That's how heavy it is. Um, you know, it used to be like this on the East Coast, too. But on the East Coast, it used to actually be much earlier in the year. It would be like maybe uh, March, April. Here, it seems that June, July are the months when the pollen goes crazy. So, whew, I'm doing my best to, uh, you know, touch through the bullshit here and be here every day for you. And I plan on doing that, okay? Um... I'll just say one thing really quickly, completely unrelated to anything I'm saying. I've noticed that there have been a few people who uh, have been spamming the stream chat with messages. Uh, listen, once you spam it the first five times, I've probably seen it. And if I wanted to address what you're saying, I probably would have already. Uh, just repeatedly saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over is really annoying to everyone. Not just me, but to everyone in the stream chat. Um, it's like a little kid tugging at your leg saying... Hey, 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 hey. And after the 10th time, you just want to smack the kids so hard that they fly into the stratosphere. So, don't bother spamming the stream chat. After a few times, uh, you know, if I've seen it and I want to address it, I will. If not, I won't. Okay? <clears throat> okay, so now let's continue. Let's talk about tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow! is a special event. Are you excited? I hope so. Tomorrow, first of all, it's Independence Day in the United States of America. All right? It's a national holiday. It's the day that we celebrate when we turned on our benevolent British uh, monarchy as 13 colonies, and we said, fuck you, we're taking all the shit you gave us, and we don't care about you anymore. Um... We're rebelling against you like a like a angsty teenager. And Britain said, what gives? We didn't realize this would happen. We were just trying to be nice to you guys. And then we said, well, fuck you anyway. We're taking all your shit. And then they came over here like, uh, like scolding parents to try to slap our butts. But we had already ganged up with other, uh, other people. And basically said, fuck you. All right. That's a very skewed, uh, a very skewed opinion of what happened. <laughs> I just like spinning it that way because it's kind of funny. No one ever talks about it that way in, in America. In the United States, it's always, oh, we fought for our independence and it's all a good thing and we never did anything wrong and it was all for the best and, you know, and no one got hurt and everything's fine and derp -a -derp -a -derp. And in reality, that's not how, how uh, you know, that's not how history happens. I mean, yes, obviously, people say, oh, but the British weren't treating the colonies right. Yeah, it's true. It's absolutely true. But at the same time, you realize that it was fucking a rebellion. It was a rebellion against people who, I mean, <laughs> imagine if, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Let's say you own a restaurant, okay? And then you have a spin-off restaurant. So you have your main restaurant, and then you have a spin-off restaurant. And the spin-off restaurant, everyone who works there decides they're just going to steal all your shit that you paid for, okay? Just because you weren't giving enough attention to the spin-off restaurant. So fuck you. We're stealing all your shit and we're starting our own restaurant. It's like, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously there's wrongdoing on both sides during the battle for independence for the United States. But anyway, I digress. Tomorrow is the day when apparently we celebrate this. <laughs> A lot of people don't think about it that way. They think, oh, 4th of July, that's the day when we set off fireworks and we go out grilling burgers and hot dogs and ribs and chicken. And we have family cookouts and parties, and we get drunk, and, uh, you know, we 
release our inhibitions a little bit. We have sloppy sex with people that we regret the next day. <laughs> um, but... Uh, oh my god, excuse me. But... Yes, folks. Um, that is tomorrow. So in celebration of this amazing event, this absolutely amazing event, folks, I will be doing a fighting game marathon. All right? A fighting game marathon. What games will be played? How will it happen? Well, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on a second, because my stream chat screwed up. Come on. Work. Okay, I got it to work. Three fighting games will be played tomorrow. First will be Injustice 2. Then will be Tekken 7. And then finishing the day with Ultra Street Fighter 2. So three fighting games to be played over the course of the day. I'll be doing online play, obviously. Injustice 2 probably will just be Aquaman and Batman. Because I'll probably be trying to remember how to even play the freaking game. Because I haven't played it in so long now. Um, Tekken 7 more than likely will end up being... Uh, Lily, who is the one character I was decent with, uh, Paul and King, and then uh, probably Ultra Street Fighter 2, I'll play everyone, all right? I'll be playing in two-hour segments, so there'll be six hours plus of fighting games tomorrow over the course of the day. So yeah, if you, uh, we're definitely looking forward to some fighting game action, and you've been sad that there hasn't been a lot of coverage of fighting games besides Ultra Street Fighter 2 recently, you should be happy tomorrow. Um, in addition, I am going to be using my new Pokin Tournament uh, Hori Gamepad um, that I will be using as I play. So that'll be fun, and hopefully it'll be better controls for Ultra Street Fighter 2. So that'll be fun tomorrow. Six hours of fighters. I'm obviously not going to upload all that footage tomorrow. It's going to be an incredible amount of videos that'll spread out. So that's good to have a surplus of videos. Um... And then Wednesday is up in the air because Wednesday is going to be dependent on what I decide to do uh, here in Crash. You know, if I see all the stages today and I'm like, all right, I feel like I've done enough, then I'll just end it today. But if I don't and, you know, I want to keep going, maybe I'll do one more session of Crash on Wednesday. And then maybe Wednesday night I'll do more Rampa, And then that would mean Thursday is a marathon of the premiere of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, which, yes, is starting this week. It's basically starting as soon as I'm done with Crash 3. Um, I've already got people super excited for it. I've already got notifications made, the pop-up notifications here on Twitch. I've already got thumbnails, everything. Like People are submitting all kinds of artwork and stuff for it. So people are pretty hyped for Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. So pretty cool. I hope you guys will come out, come out for that later this week. All right, and then FYI, I'll just be playing that with Dong and Rampa, uh, you know, pretty much for the rest of the week. And then, as I said in the week in preview last night, the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th, those three days, I'm going to be doing extended gameplay streams, tons of extra gameplay to build up surplus videos, so that when I have my time off in the middle of July, I have these extra videos to upload. Okay. So that's the deal is, you know, over the next week to week and a half, I'm going to be trying to build up a ton of extra videos so that once I have time off, I can upload those videos. <laughs> and that way I can have the time off, but still have constant new content on DSP Gaming. It's not like I'm abandoning the channel. Uh, you know what I mean? So there you go, folks. That is what you can expect in the next week. I, I think it's going to be a good one. <clears throat> it would be really nice if my decongestant would kick in any minute now. And hopefully it will, because my left nostril is completely stuffed. And uh, it's bothering me. <laughs> it's pissing me off. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about today. I don't think there's anything in particular to really address. Um... Just trying to think in particular. Uh, no, not really. Pretty much uh, straightforward today, right? Straightforward stuff. 
All right, we got a $2 troll tip of someone bitching. The tip says, start the damn game. You explained all this before. Yes, but not every single person attends every single stream. So people might want to know what's going on. Just because you're here for every stream doesn't mean that everyone else is. The world is not black and white. The world is not right and wrong. There's many shades of gray. As I've explained many times, maybe when you get older and more mature, uh, you'll realize that. Not everyone is you. That's right. There's more than one person on planet Earth. That may be a revelation to some. <laughs> But we're all different. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. I guess I'll do a short pre-stream today because my nose is all stuffed up and pissing me off anyway. Um. Alright. So, thank you everyone. I appreciate you being here for Crash. <clears throat> I can't wait to play this fucking racing stage again. God damn it. <clears throat> Ugh. This racing stage sucks. All the racing stages suck. They shouldn't be in the fucking game. You can tell they just they wanted to throw something new in there to say it was new. And they put it in there. It's the worst thing about the game are these fucking motorcycle stages. They're terrible. <clears throat> Alright. So. Time to end the pre-stream and then we'll start with Crash and we'll go from there. Sound good? Alright everyone, thanks. Let's begin. <clears throat> 